what's up guys um, welcome back to another low budget no frills video uh, there's a new article out today on uh, by operation sports so I did skim through it really quick but I want to go through it with you guys and just just go step by step like normal and, and tell you what I think as I go along um, uh, some of you might have already seen the article may some of you may may not have if you want, uh, go check it out first, look through it, read it, and then come back so you can kind of really be with me with what I'm talking about. I would suggest that or just listen to what I'm telling you. So either way, uh, let's just get started. So it's titled NASCAR Heat Four Hands On Preview, including over seven minutes of exclusive gameplay footage. I saw the footage. It is the same uh, gameplay video from Kansas that that I already talked about a few days ago, but it's higher quality, so it's good to go check it out because it's in in uh, 1080p, I believe, and it really looks uh, crystal clear and it's it looks better than the original Twitch feed. Um, so you'll get a better taste of the, the graphics, which are clearly better. So let's get into the article. 704 Games is set to release the fourth incarnation of NASCAR Heat in just over a month. And the group was kind enough to invite me to their compound for the day. We played NASCAR Heat 4, talked NASCAR Heat 4, and broke down all the improvements this year to the series. There were a lot of things I loved, some things I liked, and some things I cannot discuss. Um, I don't know what that means, because if, if on one hand he's saying things I loved and things I can't discuss, is that negative? I don't know. Maybe they told him, don't say anything. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to read too deep into it. Uh, overall, I'm everything's positive for the most part. So, and then it says, with that being said, there is plenty I can talk about. So let's get into it. Updated physics, right? So some of you guys have been worried because you haven't actually heard the words, uh, yes, the physics have been updated, right? Other than the rumors we've already heard, finally, yes, they've confirmed it. The physics are updated. Um, so he goes on to say what a difference a year can make in the way each car in each series now handles. Of course, it's easy to say that each car felt much better in the way it handled. But the reasoning behind excuse me, that statement is what has me excited. In prior versions of NASCAR Heat, it felt as if the car rotated and turned on a single point axis, slash axis or a pole that was placed in the center of the vehicle. So what he's saying is, let's just show my hand, right? This is the car. The, if you see how, the, how my, my hand is moving, just my hand. If there was a pole in the middle, it would just wobble like this. So what he says is, every movement the car makes, it's based off that one point. That's actually a good description, and it, it. I mean, I don't. I don't know if I'm reading too much into it, but I like what I'm hearing, and I. It sounds to me like these guys at this particular uh, site. They are more. They they really understand what they're looking at. It's not like let's say IGN, right? They're a more broad-based media a site, and they would never. I don't think get into that kind of detail in discussing the game. So I like the fact that when these guys are talking about uh, the game, that they're more into it. They really do seem into it in a way that other uh, media outlets aren't, where they'll just give you a very generic statement and they don't even know, you know, it's like they're trying to sell it. So I like that he was descriptive with that, and I, I got it right away, what he meant. So it says, okay, axis or pole that was placed in the center of the vehicle. With NASCAR Heat 4, though, the game provides multiple points of emphasis when it comes to car physics. 
and the result is a car that reacts more realistically and has much heavier overall feel which I know is something a lot of you are concerned about you want the car to feel heavier and um, handle a little more realistically so I like that so instead of all, all the points of emphasis being on that center of the car now it may be more spread out to like each individual corner of the car like each wheel, left front, right front, right rear, uh, which makes sense. I don't know how they do it. You know, this is now, you know, the this is uh, the developer's expertise. This is where they crunch in all the numbers, the X's and O's, and, and all, do all the programming to make sure that stuff happens. But just hearing this description, I like that. It just sounds like somebody who understands what they're talking about. And not just some guy who normally does Call of Duty reviews. And then he's just got stuck with this uh, article. So I like that. I like the sound of this. And if, if you are someone who's concerned about physics, as I, I would think everyone is, this sounds really good to me. Now, I am going to caution people. This, and I, this is the way I take it. This is not going to be a simulator. And I don't think it ever will be. And I, I don't even think that's the goal, or I'm, I'm not even sure it should be the goal. I think that these are Simcade-type games on consoles. And I, and I do think that that's where it should be. I think if they attempted to try to turn it into some real simulation type of deal it might take away from other aspects of the game. I'm, you know, that's how I feel about it. But anything, any improvements better than what we've had. So what I'm trying to say is don't go in expecting a simulator. I think if you keep your, your expectations realistic, I think you will be uh, pleasantly surprised. At least that's what, what I'm expecting. So we've already heard the rumors from people who've had early access, and now we have these guys, you know, directly commenting. And er oh, he also said earlier that there were certain things they were allowed to talk about and certain things they weren't allowed to talk about. So the fact that they are allowed to discuss the physics in detail and let you know, yes, the, the physics have been updated, that means 704 feels confident. That, yeah, we can let people know. This is also something that is official, that we worked on, and it is improved. So I, I think overall people should be uh, excited about that, at least. So as long as you don't go in expecting this to be like iRacing, it's not going to be that type of uh, physics. So, and I think that it's okay that it that it doesn't become that. You know, I'm not saying that... Don't get it as realistic as you can. Just let's keep things realistic. I think the game could be a blast if everything else is improved and everything works. So let's move on from there. Uh, there's a screenshot of Kevin Harvick's car at night. So it looks good. Uh, the new improvements allow the driver to rub and race a bit easier in a realistic fashion when fighting for position. There also seem to be real connectivity between the controller and the action on the track as I could feel the car and its reaction to the road and other drivers excuse me around me all this combined provides for a much more enjoyable time on the track with NASCAR E4 a little bit more of a description of the physics and yeah you know uh, you could fight in traffic um, rub and race a bit and, you know, I guess this is also alluding to the ping pong. You know, they didn't want to actually, I guess, discuss it that directly. But it, it just seems like they, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to alleviate those issues. Good stuff. And here's the kind of stuff I really like. Multiple lines driven. A common complaint with NASCAR E3 was that the AI drivers would come across as complacent when racing each other and were casually satisfied with their current on-track position. So yeah, these cars, besides you know not spreading out and staying in, in clumps and stuff, 
yeah, they kind of just stayed on a rail and just, you know, lap after lap, they would run the same lap speeds and all that and just hold the spot. And then it, it really was like a conveyor belt. And it was really all about you met, uh, navigating through through that, you know, a conveyor belt. So I like that. You know, I want to see that this AI is is more lifelike and, and kind of battle each other and, and and they go through the, the dropped lap times and all this stuff. So I, I really like hearing that. They rarely showed urgency trying to move through the pack and reacted the same whether it was lap 20 or 200, which is what I said. Uh, no, no fall off in lap times, no tire wear, and they just, you know, they didn't really show that urgency. So they were talking about NASCAR Heat 3, which is what... I've complained about and every all of you guys you know we all we've suffered through all this and we've been complaining about it and this is why I have such a positive view about where things are going that doesn't mean that I think everything's great that everything's fixed or that you know the future is going to be a guaranteed success that is not what I'm saying all I can do is take information as it comes and then talk about it and, and how I feel about things as they are now and if something bad comes out a week from now or after the game comes out then I'll be on top of that as well so I don't want anyone to think that oh well he's just positive about everything now and he thinks everything's gonna be perfect that that's not yeah I mean I'm I know I'm sounding redundant but sometimes people they just misread what you're trying to say. So I don't want people to misread what I'm saying. I think there's a lot to be excited about. And I just really like what I'm hearing so far. And it does show me that they're listening. Doesn't mean we're always going to get everything we want right away. It, but it does mean that, yeah, we they're telling us we are aware of these complaints that you guys are having. And we're trying to address it. And to be honest with you. When you look at the world of, of, of or the gaming industry today, that's a rare thing. I mean, even the big company, the big companies are actually worse. They don't care. They don't even communicate with uh, their fan base. All they do is overhype the games. They're they're all about marketing and trying to squeeze money out of people through microtransactions and things of that nature. So. This is why I feel positive with this company because I do see what they're doing and I like the, the way they're, the path they're going. And I've said this last year and I said it the year before and I they keep proving what I'm saying. They are going in the right direction. And even though they aren't moving fast, you know, we all want them to move faster. We all want them to catch up more and, and give us more. But the point is, you know, they are moving in the right direction. They are listening to us. And we have to keep encouraging them to continue moving in this in this direction and to keep listening to us. And when they do something right, I think it's important that, you know, people point, uh, let them know, hey, this we like what we're hearing. This is what we want to hear. We want to support this. So that's why... I'm 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 in this positive groove right now with these guys. That might change. Um and there is a lot to talk about concerning 704 in the future and I'll I'll talk about that in another video. But as of right now, I didn't think I would be this excited about this game as I, as I am now because when we first found out, you know, it did sound like yeah, this is NASCAR Heat 3 with just, you know, Nothing new, but it's like uh, they went in and improved stuff. But it's the same game, and it's just updated. Well, yeah, that might be true, but there is actually more than meets the eye. And we're starting to see that. The sound and graphics already. I seen. I also saw the Eldora clip, and I saw that uh, one lap uh, qualification at, uh, at the Roval. That other video that I'm sure you guys have seen. I didn't do a video over it because I didn't want to do a whole big video over that. But now that I'm 
doing a video. Let me talk about it really quick. Yeah, one thing I saw, uh, especially with the Roval clip, that was the first uh, video that I saw that I was really impressed with the graphics. And I said, wow, this is nothing like last year. And I was impressed. And after I saw the Kansas gameplay video again, because it's on the site, but like I said, this is the high quality uh, clip. This isn't the, the one that they, uh, up, you know, uploaded on YouTube from the Twitch thing. It is the same video, but it, this was, I guess, the direct uh, video clip, you know. So it's 1080p. It looks and sounds great, and you really get the, the, the screen perfect as if you're playing the game. When the first video came out, you had those guys talking on the on the side, and, and it was just odd. They, they uh, edited the video down to seven minutes and change, and so it's worth watching again. And you get a better sense of the graphics and how the game looks. So... I like what I'm hearing. I like that 704 is listening to us. They are listening because these are specifics that I've talked about. So I know. And I'm like, yeah, I want to fucking hear this shit. You know, people want to hear about the physics and that they, they're working on it. So good stuff. I think there's a lot to be excited about. And then it gets in, into the guy who has spent time with the game. In my time with uh, NH4... I found them, oh, he's still talking about the AI. I found them not only being aggressive with me, but with each other as well. How many times have you heard me say the game, you know, the racing, it, the importance of having the AI, not only, you know, how they race you, but how they race each other. You guys have heard me talk about this ad nauseum, and now I'm reading it. And the guy's saying exactly what I'm talking about, which, how can I not get excited about that? That's exactly what you guys have heard me talk about. It's important that these that the AI not only races you uh, aggressively, cleanly, the, that the field spreads out, but that they also race each other and not just be in a conga line. So, good stuff. So, okay. In watching the AI drivers ahead of me on the track, it was quite noticeable the effort they were making trying to find more speed and overtake each other by util utilizing multiple grooves and approaches. Yeah, multiple race lines. These guys are moving high, moving low, down the middle, wherever they got to make that pass. That's what you want to see. I'm telling you guys, mark my words. The things that I've been pointing out, that's what you're going to, I think. You know, I'm, I'm assuming that the game, it really is as good as it, it's starting to look. I don't have a reason to think that it's not. Like, they, they, they're they showing us, well, they're not showing us a lot, but just this gameplay footage that from what I've seen, it's night and day, the difference. But you guys are going to see that the sound that I've been, you know, talking so much about and the AI... And making them spread out more and, 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 and the, the lap times and the tire wear, all that stuff I talk about. You watch how, what a big difference that's going to make to how you feel when you're racing. And that's why I tell people, uh, it's not all about just one thing or this or that. It's all these things combined. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And I hope... You guys are excited too. There is a lot to be excited about. So, and like I said, it, there's more than meets the eye. And, and I think all these little details are adding up. On top of that, the AI drivers showed a stronger reluctance to give up their current position. Yeah. So, you know, I guess they got Ryan Newman to come in and, and <laughs> help them with that. So, I like that. Then it goes to graphics and lighting. And they show the new user interface, right? And you guys, when you see the article, you'll see it. It looks great. Um, it's a big difference. It looks more polished. It looks like something higher budget, you know. All these things matter. And uh, 
you know, when you look at NASCAR Heat 3 and you look at, at this one, it's just not the same. It looks better. It just, it gives that, the game that more polished feel. And you see challenges. So they got challenges, right? For those of you who like that stuff. And, you know, guess what? I'm going to try that stuff. I normally don't really care too much about that, but I'm, you know, then it's a career, online multiplayer, championship, split screen, uh, you know, hey, congrats. Those two, those two or three of you who you, you still put, use a split screen, you got it. Uh, then it goes quick race. You got wins, top tens, races. Here's something else before I forget. I'm going to put this out there as well. I know some of you guys out there are really hoping for uh, surprises. I'm, you know, there's a part of me that wants to be like, hey, man, maybe we're going to get a surprise here and there. But I, I wouldn't hold out hope on that. You see that they're listing all of every little thing. Like, you'll see later because they, they, they go through the list of things. And... They're, they're listing everything the game has. They're not going to hold back anything because they want the game to catch a buzz and, and you know, to help the sales. They're not going to hold back a surprise and not tell anybody because that, that would actually hurt their game sales. You, you want people to know everything that's in it. So don't get your hopes up. The stats, I suspect, are going to be the same. Um, and believe me, you, uh, nobody wants that issue to be addressed more than I do, but I'm not going to get my hopes up on that. So, and, and believe me, they would have listed it. They would have said, oh, and new up, new uh, comprehensive stat compilation, and we worked, you know, they would have at least listed that. They didn't. Um, so, don't get your hopes up, is what I'm trying to say. I think we know more... 99% what's in the game and it's good it's good stuff um and we got to keep pushing for those other things and hopefully next year but when you when you when you watch these guys they are going in the right direction and they are listening and they're just going at a at a specific pace because that's all they're capable of and I'd much rather that they take you know, shorter steps, but they're nailing the, what they're going for than to try to, you know, bite off more than they can chew and just have a mess. So I know some things are going to disappoint that, that are not in the game, but I think that the things they did work on and the things that it looks like we're going to see, I do think it's worth it. I do think people are going to have uh, a good experience. So, so you see the user interface. Then there's my driver. There's my cars in plural. Options and newsfeed. So now the one thing here that stands out to me that I don't that looks new, where it's under my driver it says my cars in plural. So what I'm hoping, and this is something a lot of people have also complained about, and I would love to see this. I, it's a, it's a, such a tiny thing, but if they, if they gave that to us, I would count that as a mini surprise, right? Because this, this is the first I've seen this, and this, I'm just guessing, but the my cars thing might mean that we can finally have multiple paint schemes, so you can have two or three cars with different paint schemes, and now. You can choose from those before each race. So you don't, you're not stuck with one paint scheme and that's it. And I hope that's what it is. I mean, what else could it be? My cars. And so anyway, I, that's what I'm hoping for. If, if you guys might come up with a, another idea that, that it means something else, let me know. But that's the only thing I can think of it. Maybe you have the option of having more than one custom car that you could, you know, you can, you don't have to run the same scheme every, every race. So then it goes on to say one of the knocks that existed with the older Unity engine. Oh, I didn't even see this before. Oh, I missed, I missed part of the article. Like I told you guys, I skimmed through the article earlier. 
I don't I don't remember seeing this. Okay. One of the knocks that is, existed with the older Unity engine, the NASCAR Heat Games has been built on, had been the struggle to provide developers with both strong graphics and frames per second at the same time. Now that the Unity engine has been updated and improved, which we knew about last year, the ability to live, deliver better graphics, realistic physics, and natural lighting have become much easier for the developer, all while maintaining steady uh, <clears throat> frames per second. So the frame rate, it should be steady. Uh, it's not going to be 60 frames. So if you guys are assuming that it's going to be that, I'm, I'm telling you it's not, because if it was, they would have said, Oh, and by the way, it's going to run at 60 frames. They would have fucking listed it because that's a big deal. So it's going to be, I think, 30 frames, but it's it, you're not going to have those dips, which is fun. You know, if, if, if it's a steady frame rate, that's good. So there's one thing I want to talk about now that I saw this and they, and they brought it up. And something I've, I've even made videos over it. After NASCAR Heat Evolution came out, there was a lot of people who were complaining about the Unity game engines. And I told you guys from the very start, the problems that we were seeing with these games have nothing to do with the game engine. I said that the Unity engine, it was it's just as capable. Yeah, it's been updated, and that does make a difference. But a, a game engine is a is a it's a frame to build a game on. It's, it's tools. It's the developer that really decides what the game's going to be. And the talent of the developer and how they use that engine. And you're seeing now, right before your eyes, that I was right. I'm the only person that I know of, right? I might be wrong. But I didn't see nobody defend this Unity engine or their decision to use it. I was the only person that I, that I, can, that I know of. Who was telling everybody, guys, relax with this game engine thing. Because everybody was like, oh, they need to get rid of that engine. And they need to get the, the other engine, uh, the, the cry engine or whatever, you know. And I told people, it's not the engine. It's the developer. You give them more time, let them do what they have to do. These guys, they're capable. And we're starting to see that. The game looks way better than last year. It, I'm actually surprised at how much better it looks. I, I didn't expect that. And they're, they're able to, to go in there. And they're improving things to the AI, to the physics and all that stuff. So I'm hoping that that issue is something that dies. Um, so I guess I'm kind of saying I told you so. But I, I really, you know... I'm the only one that was defending that engine. So I'm glad to see that these guys are getting better and better every year. And I think whatever weaknesses they have, it's because they need to hire more help. So they're going at a slow, steady pace because they have to. They can't go faster and they can't give us more than what they're giving us. So we have to keep encouraging them and keep giving them feedback. And... I like that they're listening. So then it goes on to you see a couple of cool looking screenshots. The overall improvements were noticeable the moment I put my eyes on the screen and had a controller in my hand. The colors are deeper and more natural, and the game has a much more realistic look and feel. NASCAR Heat 4's improvement in the graphics department, specifically the car, track, and crowd detail, had an immediate impact on my experience and helped deliver a much more uh, much improved feeling of immersion. Good stuff. Now, it gets into another paragraph that I did not really read. Career mode depth. Amazingly, I was informed that 80% of the time spent with the NASCAR Heat Series by gamers was spent in career mode. I love hearing this because it tells the developer. I mean, they, these guys are saying it. This is where people are spending most of their time. They, I'm, I'm not saying nobody cares about online racing, but if you don't nail the career mode, this has to always be the centerpiece of the game. And once that stops happening, people are not going to buy these games. So I love hearing this. 
Okay. So it makes sense that 704 games would look to create a deeper and more challenging experience for this mode. Some of the improvements will include less hot seat time. So we know, yeah, you could kind of start where you want, which is great. Options are great. You could still start at the bottom. It doesn't mean you, you, you know, they're not going to force you. You know, you still have options. Options are great. So uh, less hot seat time, deeper crew development and execution. That's kind of new this year. And the ability to start your career in any of the three series. Okay, that, that's kind of redundant. Instead of having to work your way up to the Cup Series. All right, so we knew that. Then there's a picture of the employees. It's different, different layout. And the new thing is the pit speed and the pit accuracy, right? So we're going to have to also have people uh, on your pit crew. And you're going to be able to work on that so you can get better pit stops better pit times and stuff like that and it's starting to remind me a little bit of like nascar thunder 2004 where you had more involvement in all these areas and maybe that also means they've been listening to us and they hear us keep bringing up nascar 2004 and maybe they're starting to say you know what let's start fucking showing people that yeah you know what I'm tired of hearing about a 15-year-old game and how much everyone says it's still the greatest. And we got to step our game up. And I like that, you know. So I like that. That's good stuff for team owners. The game will now force you to manage your money and your car on the weekend as car damage will carry over. And cost money to fix and improve. That's more good stuff. And running short on funds and your super speedway car is still damaged. Surprise. Oh, there's a word there. You wanted a surprise? Surprise. That is the car you're taking to the next super speedway you visit, regardless of the vehicle's current condition. I love that. One, it's just more incentive to race cleaner and take care of your equipment and not treat the game like a toy. Take it more serious, race cleaner, and the game will reward you. And I think, and I've always said this, if people tr really try to race it more realistically, try to take care of their equipment, the racing would be even more challenging and you would get a bigger sense of accomplishment. I don't get why, well, I know why, but I don't get any sense of accomplishment plowing my way through the field and just punting cars out of the way. That's not realistic. And I don't get any sense of accomplishment out of that. So I love that. Anything that can incentivize people racing cleaner, thinking about taking care of their equipment, that's NASCAR. That's, that's what I want to see. And it sounds great. Again, things that sound a little bit more like the old Thunder series, you know. And you don't take, you know, I didn't like that last year. You, Okay, if... if your car is not 100%. You take your your uh, your short track car to a, a super speedway. It doesn't make sense, you know. So I like that. I'd rather have to be forced to take a car that, that is, you know, a little banged up and just deal with it. And uh, I like that. So that's good stuff. Career mode now realistically blends all aspects of being a car owner together and forces you to stop being so singularly focused. Instead... You now have to see your career as a collection of many parts. I love this. I love hearing stuff like that. I know it's, you know, I don't know. Some of it, I know it's kind of just marketing and stuff, but I like, that's the type of thing I want to hear. That's what excites me to to want to buy a game like this. So here's, they go down to the list of improvements. The first thing is legend drivers. I don't know what that means. Does that mean unlocking cars that are like legendary cars? Because then it, it, you know, right underneath it says unlockable paint schemes. So I don't know, legend drivers. Does that mean that you can race against retired legends? I, I don't know what legend drivers means. In either case, I'm interested. Upgraded user interface, UI, which we've seen. You could see it on this article. You could. It looks good, man. I really like it. The, the whole layout is different. It's better. It's polished. It looks more... Uh, it looks more of a premium 
like a premium game, like uh, compared to, to, to last year. Starting any series career, okay, we know that. Staff specialist, hired pit crew career. So the pit crew thing is new. I guess the staff specialist is like what we had last year where you, you know, hire people. You can train them to work on specific parts of the car. Um, like I told you, they list every little thing. So if there was more surprises, they would have listed it. If we were getting better stats, they would have listed it. So I just don't want people to get their hopes up on things that haven't been talked about. I think we know, 99% we know what this game is. Clean driving bonus. Again, you know, you get a an incentive for, for racing clean, taking care of your stuff. Draft partners, track map, Tony Stewart dirt car. Man, you see, they list every little thing. So, now here's a new one. In-car camera view, left, right view. I don't know what that means. We already had a cockpit view. I guess they changed it a little bit. Maybe you, this kind of, I don't know what that means. It says in-car camera view and then in parentheses, left slash right view. Like maybe you have two different, or, or maybe while you're in cockpit, you can look completely to the left and right, which we couldn't do last year. So that must be what it means. Uh, I, it sounds good. And then it says, and many more dot, dot, dot. I don't think that means anything. They, that's the kind of thing they put in there that just, I don't know, man, just to get people to be like, oh, man, I wonder what and many more means. Maybe it is more stats and or uh, more customization. No, I'm telling you guys, that's not what it means. So I like everything what, that I'm hearing. And then it goes to final thoughts for now. I need to be careful not to overstate the improvements seen from year to year in any given title. This is the article, not me. But I have no issue saying that the changes to the core gameplay are substantial and will be felt through all modes of play. The testing I did was on a PS4, and from graphic fidelity to smart and aggressive AI and a lot in between, the improvements were tangible and on point. So I suppose... I guess he's, that I would take that to mean that, that he didn't see any issues like glitches or bugs, which is good. That's another positive of, you know, not biting off more than you can chew. Because making sure that what you are working on works and that you have time to test it and make sure that, you know, what you're telling us is improved, really is improved without issues, that's really important. So that's what I take from it. Look for a new preview of NASCAR Heat 4 in about, no, not, about two weeks before launch. So we got about five weeks to go. So we're not going to get a preview for at least another three weeks. So it sucks. I want to see more. Um, we, we're not getting a lot in terms of gameplay videos and stuff like that. So I'm excited. I want to see more. So it is what it is, but uh, I like everything I'm seeing, and I don't know. I, I like what what's going on with these guys. They seem like they're listening, and they're making the right moves. They made the right decisions this year. There is one thing I want to say. Earlier this year, I don't remember if it was February or March. They made some dis they made some announcements when they talked about. The whole uh, hiring a bunch of people from the motorsports, uh, motorsports.com or and doubling down on esports. Remember that? I I'm still concerned about that. So while I like what I'm seeing now with this game, you got to take something in, in into account. When those announcements were made and they were talking about this stuff, wasn't that long ago. We don't know when they started developing this game, but let's just say, just for argument's sake, it started in December. They really don't have a lot of time to work on these, these games. And those decisions that they were talking about, doubling down on esports and all this stuff, and, and get it putting a bigger focus on, on that side of the game. 
we wouldn't see that this year. Usually that stuff takes a while. And if there are any uh, changes that are going to be coming because of that focus on esports, it would we would see it next year in the next game. So I am concerned, right? I'm not going to let this game, regardless of how good it might be or not be, fool me into thinking, hey, it's all good. They get it. They know this is the most important thing. Because when they made that amount announcement, it was only a couple of months ago, any decisions that they make going into the future, it's going to... You're not, we're not going to feel it. We're not going to know about it till next year, till the next game, or maybe a, even the next game after that. We don't know. So I'm hoping that they continue listening to us and they get it, that this is what people want the focus to be, is the career mode. Yes, you still got to work on things on online multiplayer and, and make improvements and, and stuff like that. But what I don't want to hear is, we're doubling down on esports. I don't want to hear that. You know, this has to be your focus. And so that's all I want to say about that. And, you know, if there's any more news, I'll, I'll come out. I'll talk about it. But I want to know what you guys think of the article. Go read it. Go check it out. Check out the video again because they do have a clean version, 1080p, and it looks good. So it's, it's worth it checking out again. Uh, let me know what you think. What do you agree, disagree with? Uh, I look forward to your comments. Later.